fabric scraps. Those tragic, tiny little pieces of fabric that are left behind from the magical moments when you're sewing to create something unique. You cannot sew a little magic without fabric, but once you're done, it's like these scraps that were once part of something so important mean nothing, are nothing. Well, I'm here to tell you that fabric scraps have feelings too. And today, we're going to make them the hero of our video. Hi guys, Sandy here, and yes, today we're making scrappy quilt blocks to help you de-stash your fabric pile. And mine too, of course. Let's do it. Okay guys, so I have some scraps of fabric right here. Some are really tiny, others are, you know, strips. Some are bigger, others are smaller. These are basically leftovers from videos and other quilt blocks I've made. So first, what we need to do is make a 10 inch strip with these. So we are just going to take up pieces and make a 10 inch strip. So essentially we need enough fabric to make 10 inches. Now we just need to press these real nicely and make sure all our seams are nice and straight. Okay, so now we just need to trim each of these to two by 10 inches. Okay, and yes, I do realize that's going to give us more scraps of fabric <laughs> to work with, uh, but yeah, that's the beauty of scraps. Well, depending on who you talk to. <laughs> it can be beauty, it can be a curse. Having, they kind of multiply, you know? They never end. It's good if you like to work with scraps. It's a nightmare if you're trying to get rid of them and they just won't go away. <laughs> Two. Now we do the exact same thing we just did one more time because we need two more of these cute little strips of scraps. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, now that we've got our cute little strips right here, we will need four six inch squares and you can either use the same fabric or use two fabrics or four different fabrics, you get the idea. You know, just to you. I'm using two of each and this is a gorgeous fabric. I don't work with it enough because I am so afraid of running out of it. I just love it. Okay, so what we need to do to these squares is to cut them diagonally, leaving us with eight triangles, okay? Here we go. Okay, and the next step, as you may have imagined, is adding our scrappy strip to the middle of these. So imagine you have these, and we will be adding this strip of fabric, just like so. But what we need to do for that is to mark the center of these triangles to make sure they line up, okay? Otherwise, you won't get a very straight square. <laughs> I'm just using my nail basically. This is two and we may decide to line it up with, for example, with the middle of a strip, just like that. So that way we just line up our pin with that seam and we're good to go. So this is one side. Now we lift it up and we do the exact same thing to our other side. So pin, line up with seam. The exact same seam, by the way. <laughs> be careful not to choose a different seam. That would not be good for our little project right here. And then we pin. And now we're just going to sew both triangles in place. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, this is what we were left with and now we just need to press them and trim, of course, <laughs> until they're nice and perfect.
comes my favorite part because now we play. <laughs> Let's see. We can do little strips. We can do crosses. We can do diamonds. How perfect are these? They're just gorgeous. This could have been a tad <laughs> wider. It's a bit in your face, but uh, personally, I love color. I think everything with color is perfect, so I don't mind it much. <laughs> so, so cute, but we are not done yet. We'll need a couple of two inch scrappy squares. Eight to be more precise. Look at that. Do you keep two inch scraps or do you toss them? You know, for me, for most of the time I have sewn, I would never keep anything uh, smaller than three inches because I knew I probably wouldn't use them, but now I am using it all, guys. So eight two inch squares. So now what we're going to do is, first of all, is to draw a diagonal line in these squares, okay? In the back side of these squares. You can use a pen, you can use whatever you want because it is not going to show in the front, okay? Three, four, five. Seven. And eight. Now we're just going to add these to the corners of our blocks, just like so. So pick your colors carefully. Yeah, this one was not really a good choice at all. I think I'm going to use the greens. Yeah, I think we're just going to put these like this in the corner with the diagonal lines from side to side because this is what will happen once we're finished. So, yeah. Let's pin them before we sew. And let's do the exact same thing to all our other squares. So these, let me see, what can we use? I guess I'll just stay away from the oranges. Maybe this one. And maybe a pink. This is more like it. This one, I'm thinking, yeah, the yellow and the orange. The pen and the pen again. Here we go. Okay, so now that these are nice and sewn, we are just going to trim off the excess. More scraps of fabric. <laughs> More scraps of fabric to add to our collection. I'll have to find videos to use small triangles. And this is what we will get. Let's keep going. So here we have it. Ideally, we'll have picked fabrics that make a good contrast to our blogs. 
and we have sewn and we have chain pieced <laughs> all our blocks making it that more quick to do and it really does make a difference but you know what if you prefer to do one at a time and just savor the process that's kind of perfect not gonna lie <laughs> let's play again okay guys let's see what we can come up with if we put all these tiny new diamonds together. Something like this maybe. <laughs> Something like this maybe. Uh, we could do like this. And you still have a diamond that meets in the middle. And it just keeps going off. What else can we do? We can make like sort of a chevron pattern, still meeting in the middle. You know, the list goes on and on and on, so you know what comes next. We are multiplying it to see the big effect. I love to do this, you know, to be able to see what an actual quilt will look like. And it's so well worth the extra work, you know. You think adding a couple of triangles wouldn't make that much of a difference, but it does. It really does. You can see them perfectly. <laughs> Whoa, what awesome quilt. <laughs> So now you tell me, did we or did we not turn zeros to heroes with this crappy quilt box? Can you see how something that can be seen as a nuisance? I know I do sometimes when I look at all those bags of scraps I have lying around, but can you see how much value there is in each tiny piece of fabric? And do you have a favorite combination? <laughs> Which of these are your favorite? Are you ready to give these a try? It just doesn't get much quicker to make than these, right? <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for doing this with me. It was a lot of fun. I am enjoying these scrappy videos I've been making with you guys. I think I'll keep going until I'm all out of scraps and then I'll just sew some more to get more scraps and do it again. You know, we'll be at it for a while. <laughs> I'll see you really, really soon. Bye-bye.